The only thing that changed was there's no more button. They don't give you headphones in the box because they stingy AF. She got her lips done like Kylie, eh? I swear she didn't look like that back in the day. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind girl back on your screen with another one. This video is gonna be a quick run through the iPhone 12 Pro Plus Max. Did I get it right? Did I get it in the right order? I don't know. With all these names, I don't know which way it's coming or going. But today we're gonna to talk about it from a blind chick's point of view because that's me. And that's kind of why I got this huge Duffy phone. I have some good, some bad, and ugly as per usual. First things first, this feels like a human size iPhone 5. Because when I hold my old iPhone 5, that feels like a toy and this feels like life size. It's pretty big. It's kind of tricky to get to the corner. You have to like, <laughs> so it's better for two handheld use. It feels really nice. It's not as heavy as you would think it would be for something this size, but it's definitely heavier than the 7, which was my last iPhone. I haven't done one of these video reviews for a phone in four years. I've had that phone, well, I got three iPhone 7s, but I've had that type of phone for a minute, so it's nice to get something that's completely different. No longer is there the touchpad button, which is so weird to me because that thing was clutch for popping out of things super quickly. But now you just swipe up, swipe up, and then you'll get all your other windows, which as you can see, I just have everything open for absolutely no reason. So far, it's been good. I've had some glitches already and I've only had it for two weeks, but that would be my luck. I'd get the bad iPhone initially. I've restarted it twice, it's been okay. The camera is amazing because as you might know, if you already know, then you know, but if you don't know, I love the iPhone because of this. Magnification app. It's already embedded in the system. I'm gonna show you some other apps as well that I think you can download on Android if you don't have an iPhone, but this one works really well. Truth be told, as of late, which is kind of scary, I've been maxing it out. So if I need to read something like an ingredient or a label, I find that I take it all the way to the end. But if I'm just looking at something to scan and read quickly at work, for example, I tether kind of around here. Can you even see what I'm doing or not? I hope you can see, because I'm not trying to do this again. <laughs> when I first discovered this, I was only about here. Now I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. Well, nothing can stop Star Guards, apparently. Overall, the phone is good. It feels very seamless and smooth in your hand. It's all the usual stuff. Honestly, there's nothing exciting about it. Once you've had an iPhone, you can wait a couple years and the iPhone changes like a little bit. That's why I don't know how people get new phones every year because I'm like, what changed? For me, the only thing that changed was there's no more button. They don't give you headphones in the box because they stingy AF. And the cameras, you got one for the CIA, one for the Canadian, whatever the CIA is, and one for the international one. So they watching you. One thing I will say is I love iPhone because 90% of my friends and family have it. So I can just quickly send a voice note as opposed to a text because being visually impaired, my font is maxed out, maxed TF out. And I, I thought, maybe I thought wrong. No, no, not maybe, I definitely thought wrong. I was hoping because there's more of a screen surface, this being a 6.7 inch display, that it would allow for a larger text, but it's the exact same font as I had with the seven, which is a 6.1 or 6.2 display. So if you're visually impaired and you're deciding between the Pro Plus and the Pro Plus Max, unless you're about that camera, I would say save the extra $300 and just go with the smaller one, because you're gonna get the same font anyways, and things don't really get bigger. It just gives you more space to zoom in if you have to do this like me, but you still have the pan to read, which kind of gets annoying. I like the pinch and zoom that Samsung has, but I've noticed that as of late, that one is kind of maxing out on me too. I don't own a Samsung, but I played around with a couple friends' phones. I like how they've taken the accessibility route. They would definitely be my number two as far as a phone that you might need as you get more and more visually impaired. But for that legally blind life, I'm telling you Apple's where it's at because you can sync this to your phone. No, this is your phone. You can sync this to your iMac or your MacBook for seamless transfer and shares. They make everything cultish. So if you use it with an Apple product, you're pretty much gonna be golden or with other Apple users, let's say. But if I wanted to send someone a voice note or voice to text, sometimes 
it'd be making up ish I never set. So that's something that I hope they work on in next software updates. Let's see. Hey, Auntie, just checking in on you, exclamation mark. Hope you're having a good day, period. Love you. One worked. Now, if I were to say call a friend, hey, Siri. Sometimes she don't pop up. Hey, Siri. I don't have an accent. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. Call it rude. Uh-huh. Excuse me. You didn't have a great grandma like me that said you have to say pardon me. They ain't no uh-huh. Huh? What? It's excuse me. Pardon me? What did you say? Manners. Call EFO on speakerphone. I don't even know what this means, but I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Yes, call EFO on speakerphone. I don't see a FEO in your contacts. Who would you like to call? She races, because my Nigerian friend Efi, that's not a hard name to figure out, but if I call her Ifi, so you call her up real quick. So we need to get better with that, but that's a complete side note. That's just something I wanted to share because, hey, I have a platform. But let's go to the back of the back where I have some of my blind apps. This is called See My Eyes or Be My Eyes. You know, if I did like a preparation before filming this, I'd be better organized, but I got a lot to do today. It's been a minute since I've done a talking to a camera video. I've been on that vlog live, so I'm a little rusty. But this one is called, okay, it's called Be My Eyes. The reason why I haven't fully downloaded this app and used it yet, I probably should have to play for the sake of this video because I'm not at the point where I would want to open an app, take a picture, wait for someone to reply and tell me what it is. I'd rather if they had AI do it or like I said, three clicks gets you to the magnification app. I can zoom in and do it all by myself. Miss independent over here. Let's just do this right now. Why not? I need a visual assistant next to you with sighted volunteers or company. Okay. English, French, Italian. I speak English and a petit peu français. My French is terrible, okay? Notifications, no. Am I the only person on the planet that has absolutely no notifications? The only thing that pops up on my screen are text messages because I find everything else unnecessary and hella distracting. You are ready to make your first call. Call? Call? Volunteers are ready and waiting for you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, we'll do connected. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm just trying this app out for the first time. I don't have anything I need to see yet. I am visually impaired. I'm legally blind with star guards. But okay. I didn't realize that it actually connects me to a real human real quick. Yeah, it does. It's so cool, huh? It's very cool. I want to thank you for being supportive and actually volunteering as well. Um, so if I'm like kind of a Wi-Fi bandit and I don't really use my data on the go, how would I be able to use this app? Yeah, the thing is that it, your data needs to be on. Like mine is normally also switched off. Uh -huh. um, and then I, when the call comes in, I have to go and switch it on. Um, so what I just did later on was just keep for that app specifically, just on the whole time. Um, if you will be in trouble and you need to reach someone quickly, that then it's like, convenient if but then if you only have like questions when you have questions you know um then you have time to switch it on um so but otherwise i would say if you want to have like a quick dial quick access then your data needs to be switched on okay perfect that's good to know this is actually way more useful than using google maps for example because i can actually talk through what the signs are saying like the street signs I know. okay yeah, definitely okay okay Thank you so much. I'll definitely be using this again very soon. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah? You too. Bye. Bye. Whoops. <laughs> well, at least you guys get an idea of what it is. She was so sweet. Like, who are these volunteers? Can I volunteer? Actually, no, because the blind leading a blind is a problem. That's Be My Eyes, first hand, first up. That's the app that was recommended to me 
a long time ago. This one zooms in the most, so you can see that I haven't been taking the best care. I'm not the best plant mom there is, but I try. I try. You can also see the price tag of that plant. It wasn't cheap. You need to see the siren. This Starbucks take all your money. Weird mermaid. Ooh, look at her. She got her lips done like Kylie, eh? I swear she didn't look like that back in the day. Pretty sure this one's available on Android. This is called Magnifier 30. So pretty straightforward. The last one I want to share with you is called Easy Read. Now this one is interesting to me because I thought it was going to do something different than what it does, but it still has use if you find like me that the font in your phone is not big enough on the screen. Type or use dictation. Okay, where's dictation though? Hey everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another. Now you can verify that what you said is what you actually say because sometimes when I do voice to text, it switches up all types of words and people are like, what spell are you casting on me with this text message? You can verify that you said what you said that I recently deleted, but maybe you'll find more use in it. My old manager, one of my favorite managers of life, Desiree recommended, and that one is called Speechify. So basically Speechify, what it's supposed to do, well, I'm gonna tell you it doesn't really do, is it's supposed to read PDF pages. It wasn't really working for me, but if you've used Speechify and you like how it works, let a girl know. What Speechify is supposed to do is it's supposed to read out things for you. So if you were to take a picture of a newspaper or upload a PDF or say like if you have your books in a certain format that's compatible with it, then it can make it into like an audible sort of thing without the audible price tag. So I thought that was a really good idea until I tried to use it and it did not work. And I had a couple PDFs in the cut to try and none of them worked. So Zoom is always on. That's how I do the three fingers tap twice. Three fingers, double tap, zoom. The magnifier is the three clicks here. Then we have text and the display settings. So catch this joke, everyone who's an iPhone user is always like, oh my gosh, you know they have larger text? All you gotta do is turn on the large accessibility sizes. Girl, I've had that on for five years, where have you been? I've been blind blind for a long time. It's been maxed out from time G. Of course you can invert the colors, but if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm not really a fan of inversion. Eh, 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 eh. Smart invert reverses the colors of the display except for images, media, and some apps that use dark color styles. Okay, I ain't mad at that. Actually not as hard to read as I thought. I know a lot of people, this is easier on the eyes. For me, it's a stress on the eyes. So I'm guessing that this is what a lot of, oh, no. I reduce white points. Reduce the intensity of bright colors. Nope, I like my colors bright, bright. You can also have the option to make it more of a yellow hue for that whole blue light thing. I hate that because it's harder for me to see. I'm a very particular blind person, okay? So let me know what your preferences are and your settings are down below, like what your font is at, if you prefer to invert your colors, if you're a contrast person, if your larger text is all the way maxed out, like what's your hacks for using your phone? Cause I'm finding as my vision gets worse and worse, I'm using auditory and audio functions more than anything else and I hate I like, I haven't been on social in two months, partly because like, this year has been difficult, partly because if I'm going on the gram and I click on people's stories, for example, woo, it crashed. I told you about this phone. Shanae Aiko, I love her. But if I go on someone's story, they always have writing and I'm like, what's, what, what's going on? But let me know what your visual cutie is, what your favorite app to use for your visual impairment is, what size your font is, and what you wish phones did differently. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick run through of the 12 Pro Plus Max. I know it wasn't as techy as the last time, but I wanted to focus more on the blind side of things. So I hope that you enjoyed this, whether you're sighted or visually impaired. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more. And as always, until next time, love and later.